Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Ah, oh, that's good! That's good! Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us up in here. You understand? Um... First things first, I want to wish everybody a big Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Keep it fun. Keep it jolly. Keep it safe. And remember the reason for the season. For sure. I need to give some shout outs. I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Swifty down in the beautiful state of Oregon. Just right down the street from me. You just right down the street. I think it's only about 1,400 miles or so. Just down the street. Then I want to say a big thank you to Alex and Lisa in the beautiful state of North Carolina. I have been there several times. Um, I love the Outer Banks. You know, it's funny, the, the one thing I love about that Outer Banks area of North Carolina is don't let any of these fishermen I got around here like Billy Ray or whatnot hear me say this, but they're shrimp and they're crab compared to these, them guys. It's a lot cheaper and seems to be a lot more readily available right across the dock. You can go down there and get shrimp, blue crabs. I don't know what it's costing you guys now, but when I was back there and this was in the 80s, I mean, you could get half a bushel of blue crabs and several pounds of shrimp for a 20 twin twin. I don't know about that now. You sure won't get that up here. But anyway, I am humbled. They sent me a beautiful Christmas card. And I want to show this Christmas card. It is creative. Look at that. Look at that outboard. And you recognize that guy? That's old miserable Fred. They got him with a hat and everything. Fred ain't liking life too much right now, and I'll show you why. But there's Fred. Then you got to check this out. Look at that beautiful Johnson. I got one, too. It ain't got the light bulbs, but it's pretty close to that. Then... Look at there. It's that. You recognize that guy? It's old Billy Ray. The best commercial fisherman in the whole North Territory. I love the creativity that went into this card. I will keep it. And uh, here's another one from Mr. Swifty. Beautiful. Very humble. And then one more shout out to Mr. D. Robert. Do I got it upright? He sent me this. And if you have never heard me talk these up on my channel, well, I do talk them up. He sent me those and I am sure appreciated it and humbled it. Because these things work like nothing else. Um, van pliers. If you haven't tried them, get them. They don't endorse me. They don't send me money. But Mr. Robert did. And they work. They got vampire teeth on the very front and sides. And if you've got that rounded off screw, bolt, etc., etc., this will get it out. They're good. Very good. So... Thank you, Mr. D. Roberts. 
thank all of you guys. I am truly, truly blessed and humbled. Thank you. Um, so, we've got a few things we're going to touch on on this vi 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 video. But since I was doing the uh, little 5 and 1 half, or would that be 5 burnt 5 oldie in my last vids, I still got a little bit of stuff to do. And I'm going to show it to you. Um, the recoil on the 5 burnt 5, one of the places where the recoil cover, which comes over the top, on this one it it's broke and I have that little piece um, when I got the motor it was in the in the in the cowling uh, it had been thrown in there with what was left of the, the shift handle which we replaced it we replaced it we replaced the shift handle with a vintage kind of in keeping with the theme of the little cutie but I haven't got around to that recoil brace connector where it bolts I don't know what they call that bracket bracket um, I'll show it to you but then I've got another little cutie I'm gonna show you and we got it running this was probably six eight videos ago and it's a little six horse Johnson um, newer much newer I think it's a 1990 but it had this side mount contraption of a recoil start on it. And I've tried adjusting it, and I got it working where you could start the motor, but it's just not a good system. So I was thinking just for fun, because this is the Outboard channel where we have the fun. You understand? So for some good Outboard fun, what if we could try? I was inspired. I was inspired. That happens even to me once in a while but this little beauty 1963 five, five inspired me to go you know the five print five has a over-the-top recoil starter so the newer six horse has that crappy raise up under the flywheel. Would it be possible if we could adapt, fabricate, make some brackets and what not to convert the new and improved not recoil system similar to this 5 per 5 of 19 and 63 of the year of Aloha. I don't know. I don't know if we can do it. But let me show you this and I'll show you the bracket. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So this beautiful thing has this beefy, nice aluminum, all aluminum, aluminum over the top recoil starter. Now you can see here's that broken bracket and it's in here somewhere. There it is. This is how I got it. But this needs to be mounted there. So I gotta fix a bracket to make this work. But that's what inspired it inspired me. I was thinking, God, this is such a good system compared to the little six horse Johnson the newer and <clears throat> improved and I thought I wonder if we could do that I don't know I don't know but I think I'm gonna give it a look but right now the little Johnson is defrosted so I'm gonna let it do that for a little bit and we'll look at some other things I'll be back
is a beautiful day out here. I'm just doing a few things. Oh, Alaskan things because it's such a pretty day. We had a windstorm last week and uh, I had about a 60, 70 mile an hour gust of wind hit, well, you can't see it, hit my garage door, tore it all to pieces. I patched it up. And the reason why I'm out here splitting the firewood is because it's supposed to start snowing pretty heavy. Pardon me. I'm having a warm beverage. Um, it's supposed to start snowing tomorrow night, and it looks like it's going to snow an amount, an accumulative amount of uh, three, four, five inches every day for about four or five days. So I thought. I better get out here, get out here and light off my Lombardini single cylinder diesel log splitter, which is the best log splitter I've ever owned. It looks like, but it has no points, no electronic ignitions, no spark plugs, and doesn't matter how cold it gets, it always seems to start. So, and it's electric start. So, I don't keep a battery on it. Um, I just use my power pack, same power pack that I use in the many other things around here. But I just clamp the power pack on it and uh, hit the starter button. Has a little thing right here you prime it with. So I take a little bit of that old cheap old lube, squirt down in there, just give it a couple shots. And I use this crap to lube my ram and my slide and all that too. And uh, she generally pops right off. You wouldn't think it's going to start. It, it, it just goes rock, rock, puff, 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 puff. And it starts puffing puff, puff smoke out of the uh, bent up muffler there. And then and it, it starts right up. It's a good one. Um, I've built and sold many log splitters, but I keep this one just because it's diesel and uh, you can see right there, Lombardini. Maybe you can. But it splits wood good. It's slow, but boy, it gets the job done. That's all there is to it. And then, of course, I got the little ramrod to help me out. She's always helping me. That's my outboard lift. That's my snow plow, slant bar, snow scoop, slant bar, wood hauler, slant bar, save my back, slant bar. My 50-year-old ramrod. It's got a single cylinder Kohler that I would have thought would have died years ago, but it just keeps going. And then I'm driving my 96 Cody Bastro band. Um, and my 2003 Astro van, they're both all wheel drive, but the 2003 is having problems with the rear end. I can drive it and it still runs, and I do drive it, not when it's got ice on the, on the ground and stuff. But, uh, it runs good, so I'm just charging the battery. I should go over there and turn the lights off. They come on automatically, but I can override it um, with a button. So I'll do that. 
I'm just charging the battery and then I'm piling the wood so I can get it inside and let's take a little tour this is what I've got left so far sorry about that I dropped you um, I gotta get that 15 Yamaha the fuel pumps messing up on it pretty common on that model then I got some mystery engines in there some of you guys might be able to tell what them are. I got one up under that 35 Evinrude bonnet. I got a, two more right there under a 20 and a 25 bonnet. It's my mystery motors. And I got my little Hong Kong three per threes. I've got one of my Enduro twin cylinder single carb 40 Yamahas left. I sold the other one. And then I got a few other stuff over there, over there. But like I said, the snowstorm's supposed to come. And then I got this rack over here. I got a little, I think it's an eight horse Mercury somebody donated. And a few other things over here. But getting pretty thin. Oh, but they'll show up. They always do. So, whilst I take a warm beverage break, I thought I'd just show you about a little bit before the storm comes. And if it comes and dumps on me real good, I'll film a little bit of that for you. And then I've got to try and get. I've got a 30 Johnson over here. Before the storm comes, I want to get it in in the tank now that we kind of finished up the little 19 and 63 5 Pert 5. Um, that was kicking my can down the road. Uh, we got that mostly done. I still got to fix that um, recoil bracket where the, the recoil bolts to it, one of those brackets come up with something for that but I'm not gonna bring the uh, five pert five back outside yet I'm gonna just keep it in there on a little stand and get to that bracket and there was something else I had to do to it oh the transfer clamps it's got one broken transfer clamp. so we'll need to replace that and we will but it's a beautiful day and I got some work to do so I'm gonna get to doing it get at it Ain't that a pretty shot? Those are a couple of fishing boats all decorated for Christmas. They're supposed to have like a boat parade go through downtown Kodiak. And so there's at least a couple. There's more gathering. I think it. They're go, they'll gather right here and then uh, get underway and go through the channel downtown, but I thought with the moon right there, that's a good shot. Christmas boats.
That's Rudolph, I guess. Cody Bounce.